piece of the equipment the Apollo 11 astronauts left behind is still working to this day. The experiment from 1969 leading to the technology which now enables your smartphone to give you driving directions. Fox's Jonathan Sari has the story. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. 50 years after the first men landed on the moon, the experiment Buzz Aldrin is holding in his right hand still works to this day. So what I'm holding right here is a retro reflector similar to the ones that are on the moon. The technology company Horaeus manufactured the experiment's key ingredient, specialized prisms called corner cubes. I've always said it's like the Mona Lisa of optics because in the Mona Lisa, no matter where you stand in the Louvre Museum in Paris, uh, you see yourself. She, it looks like she's looking at you. Similarly, if you aim a powerful laser at the Apollo 11 landing site, this device will reflect the beam right back to you, even if you strike it at an angle. That's crucial because the moon is a constantly moving target with rugged terrain. Uh, it's going to be a little difficult to find a good level spot here. To minimize risk to the astronauts, NASA would only approve experiments with a quick setup. That became a major selling point for scientists behind the lunar reflector. And so they said, well, but we said, well, wait, wait, ours is just a, like a briefcase. You just carry it out. Set it down, kick a little sand under this corner and that corner. With the reflector in place, researchers could measure the distance between the Earth and Moon with an accuracy of less than one inch. With the light, uh, you have time zero where it fires from the laser from the Earth. It goes up, hits the re retro reflector, comes back. If we take that time, divide it by two, multiply it times the speed of light, you've got the distance from the Earth to the Moon. The ability to determine the exact location of distant objects led to additional breakthroughs, including GPS navigation. So the next time your smartphone gets you where you need to go, the technology behind your journey actually began 50 years ago on the surface of the Moon. In Atlanta, Jonathan Sari, Fox News.